This is the view of a ground without snow. Mind blowing, right? <laughs> so great to see the green shades back to life. I think around the 15th of May or so, all the remaining snow melted, and just within a few days after that, everything around started bursting in green. Every year I am amazed how rapidly summer comes here. If you are two in one canoe, it's good that it's a bit high. Maybe. Every spring, once the snow has melted, it has become a tradition for some villagers to gather and go kayaking together in the nearby stream. This stream is rather small and it has a lot of wild spots with a lot of fallen trees and it's only possible to kayak it in the springtime when the water levels are pretty high because of all the snow. There's a lot of fallen trees to go around or under and there's also some places in the stream where the water is quite rapid and it can be a little bit tricky to navigate it. We didn't make it. <laughs> we fell off the canoe uh, at the rapid spot and everything is wet. <laughs> Saved the oar. <laughs> Hopefully the others caught the canoe. In my previous video, I mentioned that I am going to get rid of this bush that's growing alongside one foundation that's been rooting and spreading really intensively, even though I cut them uh, completely, but they keep on <laughs> resurrecting. <laughs> so um, what I've been recently doing is I've been just pulling everything out every root and it's been a tiring a tiring job but i hope that the rest of the roots without have not having the the mother root is going to die away and i won't have to use the salt because i thought if i use this if i use the salt it's gonna be there in the soil and then if i want to sow some grass then it it's not gonna grow and yeah, and in general, it's just like not a very good idea. So yeah, I've been pulling it away um, and it's only just a tiny little bit is left. So let me show you. So this whole area over here had bushes and even like the window frame was a little bit covered with the soil. So I'm gonna take off all the remaining roots
that's a stubborn one. It's just this tiny little piece left and Jesus Christ. wasted my energy <laughs> I managed to get rid of the last bush uh, I think it's gonna be good enough <laughs> I will um, dig the soil and try to even it out a little bit and then put some grass seeds so I have a little bit of grass grown there it's that time of year where you get a lot of physical work and I shouldn't regret that I no longer stick to a strict gym routine <laughs> because this is gonna be my gym I was supposed to also prune my black currant bushes that are here over there and there's a lot of them but I feel <laughs> already so tired just want to go back inside and um, watch some series and just continue sewing my kirtle for the medieval festival um, but I think I'm gonna try to do at least one bush <laughs> and do the rest of them tomorrow it's a lot of work let me show you how much of a bush there is it's quite a big area there it is all of this is black currant but it's very old and it doesn't give a lot of yield so I need to prune it to refresh it so that I can have some fresh black currants with my oatmeal After what seems an infinite amount of winter, it feels truly revitalizing to be able to walk barefoot again and feel the grass underneath. The warm sun rays on the skin feels like a divine gift. With the snow melting away, the space all around us suddenly opened up, and so did the bath to flow for the new energy. I got my inspiration back to take up new or return to the old hobbies. First, my seedlings needed some attention. For some music, something I'm currently manifesting to do more often in life.
finally, both me and my partner decided to go back to medieval reenactment, and we joined the local group, Riengarda, which is a part of SAA, the so-called Society of Creative Anachronism that was established long time ago in the United States. It exists worldwide with their designated kingdoms and kings and queens and a lot of fun live events. So now we are preparing for medieval days that will be held in the nearby town this July. Sewing our period clothing and gathering other necessary items. We also started doing archery, which, in my opinion, is a nice way to relax and meet new people. If you have watched until now, you are amazing. Thank you so, so much. It means a lot to me. I'll see you in the next one.